We're in Thunder Bay this week working with 12 play partner communities to run a four day long coaching clinic. At the end of this week, all participants in our clinic will be certified in fundamental movement skills, basketball fundamentals and sport nutrition. Our staff has so much energy and so much knowledge. Being able to put those two things together really make initiatives like this one and clinics like this one easier for these community mentors to be a part in. It's one of the main reasons we're out here this week is to actually provide that to a select group of 20 people who applied to be part of the program um, so that they're able to come in, learn from us, get certified in different basketball capacities. Um, they've taken several workshops this week um, and we're part of the National Coaching Certification Program and they'll be able to take all the knowledge and the certification that they did get back to their communities. Um, and run programming on a longer term basis. A lot of us came in and we're like, we don't know how to dribble a ball, we don't know how to pass, we don't know how to shoot. And just coming to the clinic, we're all more aware of, like just even ourselves, and what we want to do when we go back to the community. So I think we've, we've have grown, and I think that all of us are going to take back awesome skills for the youth to implement within their daily lives even. Even though it is a basketball program, I think they can take some of those skills that they've learned and like just implement it every day. Well, I think it's very important that as elders and most of us are grandparents, that we support our young people and our young people's initiatives like this. These are good things that our communities can benefit from and especially our young people. Uh, particularly some small communities that don't have a lot of in infrastructure where there's a lot of boredom, uh, impoverishment and substance abuse and suicide. And this is only a good thing, a positive thing that may curve that and give them something to live for and focus their life a little more away from the negative and on positive skill development, physical fitness and mental well-being. Um, especially in communities like these ones, it's really the biggest roadblock is getting kids out there and getting kids wanting to play and coming out and coming out on a repeat basis. I think the more we can do to arm these guys with things that are they're fun and engaging for the kids versus just coming in and being skill specific and, and focused on measurable results. I think the, uh, the better the programs are going to be and the more sustainable they'll be. We're taking a whole new approach with, that's never been done in our programs here in Canada to the communities. In the past we've always had a clinic based approach and uh, we realize it's fun and it's, it's exciting for the communities on a four to seven day basis but the most important thing is that we're creating sustainable programs right now and that we're training coaches and that they're the ones who are going to implement the programs and they're the ones who are going to deliver these activities with kids. So I think it's, it's only building from what we've started uh, in our other programs and this is maybe a model that we can take to our other programs uh, that can encourage the coaches to just be long-term coaches in their communities and long-term role models and to encourage youth to keep practicing and keep playing and maybe they can be coaches someday as well. One, two, three, Raptors!